Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Doing a quick check-in for my homeschooling parents. Hey you guys, how you guys doing? I know it is a lot, a lot of parents and guardians, parents and whatever. Homeschooling the kids, how's it going y'all? How's it going? My son is uh, six birthdays in November, so, you know, he's in kindergarten because his birthday was out. Even though, you know, they don't even do that anymore. Like, apparently, I didn't know that, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So, he's in kindergarten, and um, his school is the truth because they sent him home with, like, a packet packet. Like, they sent him home with packet, websites that you can log on to, to read books and do exercises and do all kind of these e-learning, like, all of that. Like, I don't know if other people schools are doing that, but I'm just telling my experience. And I am not mad at it, you know? I like being able to spend time with him and stuff like that. But I know there's a lot of parents who have older kids, and that has got to be rough because this new math, oh, oh, this new math is new, new. It's, it's real new. Um, I just want to check in with you guys really quickly because it's like people on uh, Instagram, they, they mad mad. They real mad. They like, oh my God, I ain't never, I ain't never seen so many people complain about having to watch their kids or not watch their kids or have, complain about having to take care of their kids without their kids having to go to school. So it's like, y'all finna be real mad. Y'all have to take care of y'all kids all of this time and then spring break is coming up. Like, I have not so many people like legit complaining about their kids being home. They eating up all my food and they doing this and they doing that. It's like, nigga. They're kids. That's um it's kind of what they do. It's kind of in their job description for being a kid. It's just one of the things they do. They're like bottomless pits. It um it happens, you know, it just happens. Um, but like a lot of people, like I've seen a lot of people on Instagram, a lot of people on um facebook like legit complaining like legit mad it's like why y'all have kids if y'all don't want to take care of y'all kids like why y'all have kids if y'all don't want to be around y'all kids like why is like is there a specific age where you're just like where your kids get like a specific age you like i don't want to be around my kid like is there like an age i'm not at that point yet i'm just not like i'm loving it I'm loving the fact that it's like, you know, I get to actually see how his mind works when he's at school. Like we do our routine when we're at home, but it's different when he's actually like doing like school work and just to kind of see like, oh man, you know, these are things that you picked up in school that like he's teaching me to help teach him type thing. And I'm like, I'm loving it. Like I'm loving the extra time with him, but it's like so many people that are like really, really upset. I'm like, maybe it's cause I just have one. I don't know. I have friends that have more than one kid and they're like, enjoying themselves like legit enjoying themselves and then there are other people who have kids and they were like dreading it like dread it's like do y'all not like y'all kids what is it i don't know i don't know i don't know what it is i'm not judging anybody i'm just simply like why is it like why do people feel that way like it's like are the kids bad like are they so bad because it's like they're your kids so if they're bad that would kind of shine a light on you as a parent in my opinion because it's like if your kids are so bad that you can't control them when they're at home it's kind of like why like why is that happening like i don't know I don't know, but it's one of those things where it's like, you don't have a choice but to be at home with your kids. So it's like, why complain about it? That's like, you can't, you shouldn't complain about, I'm a firm believer, you shouldn't complain complain about things that you have no control over. That's like getting mad because it, it's raining. It's like, you can't control the rain. You can't control the weather. You can't control what's happening right now in the world. So it's like, you have to be at home with your kids. So why not make the best of it? It's like, if you have kids that are older, like kids that are older, a lot of them, not all, but a lot of older kids, like they be really trying to do their own thing. Yeah, they eat a lot, but they be like, I want to play my video game or I want to sit and do this. I want to sit and do like, I want to talk on the phone, I'm, you know? So it's just kind of like, is the issue that you don't want to be around the kids or you don't like being around the kids or it's like you have a lot of kids? I don't know. I just kind of felt like that was kind of, 
that was kind of different to me to actually see like how many parents were really like upset that their kids were home and I know all the parents don't feel that way because I don't feel that way and I have plenty of friends that have more than one kid and they're on Facebook like setting up at home adventures for their kids like loving it like I got my kids at home we're gonna do this 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 and this I'm gonna make all kind of learning games I like they're cool with it but then there there's that other group of people that are like I can't wait for these schools to open back up because these kids get them on there. It's like, what they doing? They arguing? Are they fighting with each other? And it's like, even still, that they can't possibly last all day. I don't know. I don't know. I can only speak for this household and the child that I have, but I don't have those type of issues. Um, I know all kids are not perfect. All kids are not the best. All kids are not the most well-behaved, but it's like, they're your kids. And if nothing else, the love for them should make you a little bit more positive about them being at home. The way I feel about it is, is I would rather my kids be at home right now than at school and being um, exposed to all type of germs that are outside and facing the possibility of them catching coronavirus or contracting coronavirus. And then I have to go pick them up from school. And then now I'm exposing myself to coronavirus. So then we're both exposing ourselves to coronavirus. This is one of those things where it's like, kind of got to take the good with the bad. It's like, okay, yeah, well, you know, they're not at school, but they're still going to learn because they're, they're, they're should, they should be learning while they're at home. But at the same time, it's like they could be at school being exposed to coronavirus. So in the grand scheme of things, it's really good that they're at home right now. It's really safer. It's no place safer for a lot of kids. Not all, not even a lot of kids, but for some kids, the best place for them to be is at home. Um, my heart goes out to any kids who live in dysfunctional households where there are a lot of abuse and just all kind of abuse, physical, sexual, mental, emotional abuse, and they have to stay there and they don't have a choice but to stay there because they can't go anywhere. Like my heart goes out to those kids that are really suffering being at home where school was their only safe space, where school was the only place where they could actually escape the terrors of what unfortunately what is their home life like my heart goes out to those kids and gotta just hopefully they're able to stay positive and try to kind of just like push through it kids who are in a place that is not safe and that is not the best for them to be they won't have to be there very long I couldn't imagine uh living in an environment where I was being abused and mistreated and just beat down on a daily basis and I couldn't go nowhere like I li literally had to stay in the home like those are the thoughts that creep up in my mind um at times and it just really makes me sad because it's like there are people who don't have the luxury of having a parent that loves them or having somebody who's taking care of them that loves them a lot of people a lot of kids that are being mistreated on a daily basis in school was their only place where for eight hours a day they could get away from that and they could escape that and now they don't have a, a a choice but to be there it's almost like you know being in prison which is very sad when you think about a kid like it's very super sad so um yeah hopefully everybody could try to find like a happy place during this time a happy space during this time in their minds where they can just kind of make the best out of it um if you're able to, you know, enjoy the time with your kids. Kids, if you're able to, enjoy the time with your family. Um, because there are a lot of kids who are not in the best environments right now. And they don't have a choice but to be there. So it's just one of those things where it's like, kind of got to be grateful for what you have when you do have something that's good. Even things that are half good is better than a lot of kids' um, circumstances. So... Stay positive, you guys, and um, that's it. So, as always, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey.